Happy Tuesday and welcome back to our podcast conversation entitled Seasons. And this week, as we walk the journey together, we are looking inside the season of being stretched. And yesterday, as we were beginning to take a look at the season of being stretched and therein begin to recognize those six characteristics of each season, yesterday we said that every season has a beginning and an end. And as we look at the second characteristic of every season, we acknowledge today that every season has a very particular feel. It has a particular personality, you might say. And the season of being stretched certainly has its own particular feel. Uh, The stretch can often feel like a sense of overwhelm. Uh, The stretch can often feel like um, a doubt that we have what it takes to do what God has asked us to do or what life has asked us to do. However, remember, as I introduced the series, I said that um, when it comes to the particular feel of each season, our expectations in life have a lot to do with what we feel in that season. And when it comes to the season of being stretched, it's also important for us to acknowledge what else we might feel along the way. As we feel the the overwhelm, or we, as we feel uh, the the fact that life is requiring more of us, there might be a resentment that we are in the season to begin with because this is not what we wanted our life to be like. We can feel a comparison as we compare our lives to other people. And if the people that we are in closest relationship with aren't being stretched, we can ask ourselves, well, why are we experiencing that? Or why are other people experiencing something different? Or if we find ourselves in similar physical life seasons, like at this time of year, we can often compare how we're handling this season as opposed to how other people are handling the similar season. And those Feelings of comparison can drum up within us lots of different experiences or lots of different emotions. Finally, when we take a look at the season of being stretched, if what started the season, which is why we talked about that yesterday, was not a life experience, maybe it was a decision that someone made and that's why you're feeling stretched, or it's something that God did and that's why you're feeling stretched, We can feel in this season sometimes a resentment toward the person or toward God or even life itself. All of those things are often part of what a season of being stretched feels like. And it's important for us to acknowledge what's in that season so that we have the courage to bring to God what's in that season, knowing that, first of all, God already knows what's in your heart and knowing that nothing that we bring to the Lord will either scandalize him or surprise him. It's there, right? If it's there, it's there. Pretending it's not there is not healthy, nor wishing it wasn't there is not going to make it go away. But knowing what to do with it, to bring it to the Lord, is the answer. And that perhaps is what the Lord might be calling you today. If you're in a feeling of being stretched, the question for you today is, what does it feel like? What's the personality of that season for you? Or if you have been there in the past, what was there for you then, and how did you respond to it? Come on back tomorrow as we uh, begin to, I think, reshape the way we look at those seasons of being stretched by acknowledging that every season has something to accomplish in us, including the seasons of being stretched. But until that conversation unfolds tomorrow, just know that God is with you no matter what it feels like, and God is going to be with us to get through the season of being stretched. God bless you.